Did you know God wants you to be rich? <gasps> God just say that out loud. Hey y'all, it's your girl Miss Ray, and today I want to talk to you about God answering your financial needs right now. He is dropping financial miracles in the atmosphere and it's up to you to take action today. So listen to this message so that you can get your financial miracle today. Today we're coming from the book of Proverbs and that's chapter 14, verse 23 and 24. So verse 23 says, all hard work, not some, all hard work bring a profit. But mere talk brings poverty. What do that mean? Don't talk about it. Be about it. Take action. Quit talking and telling your friends and your frenemies everything you bout to do, gon' do, woulda, shoulda, coulda. Do it. Verse 24. The wealth of the wise is their crown. That means whatever you put your hands to do, it will produce a profit. And that will be your crown. Whatever your profit is from what you want to put out there is what you're going to get back. Both of the wise is their crown, but the folly of the fools yield folly. What do that mean? Whatever work you put in is what you're going to get out. So if you want to be wealthy, you can be wealthy. If you want to stay in poverty, stay in poverty. To whom much is given, much is required, right? So what is folly exactly? Folly is the lack of good sense. What is a fool? An unwise person. But it says right here in verse 24, the wealth. What is wealth? An abundance of money. Okay? He wa God wants to give you an abundance of money. You know, we pray and we ask God to help us come through for us, Lord. We need a blessing. I need my bills paid. But yet we don't want to help ourselves. What would you do if somebody kept coming to you asking you for money? all the time to help them pay their bills but yet you seen them going out kicking it drinking smoking clubbing but you taking care of their priorities and they taking care of they want they not really trying to work harder to live their lifestyle that they want but they living it on your dime would you keep giving it to them or would you bag up and let them figure it out for themselves the word of god specifically said that all hard work brings profit why are you sitting still? Most people won't even open up the good book and see what God says about them, their life, their money, whatever. But yet they allow the devil to come in with a trick to say, oh, you can't walk up right in God and have money too. You got to have either or. That's for the devil, the love of money. No, all hard work brings profit. And it says wealth. Go read it for yourself. You've been tricked by the enemy for too long. You've been up here struggling to pay your bills. Living in neighborhoods that was less conducive to what you dreamed of. Driving a car that wasn't your dream car. You wasn't able to put your kids in the best of the best schools or the best of the best colleges. You never went back and got your own college degree. And now you're too afraid to start your own business. Because you allow the devil to trick you up out your blessing come on take accountability don't be mad at god because he didn't answer your financial miracle you didn't take responsibility you didn't take accountability for allowing the devil to play with your mind and keep you away from what god already said was yours let's read psalm 20 and 4 together may he give you the desires of your heart and make all your plans succeed go rewrite your plan then go get your blessing. Let's grow. Yeah.